Hey everybody, David Fine here from Keys Moz. Uh, as you know, I'm on a Lake Okeechobee uh, bait trapping extravaganza and we're starting to have some serious success. And it's been a couple of years of frustration of coming up here and putting out bait traps and not, not catching anything. And I wanna show you guys some amazing life cycles and so far I haven't been able to do that. But those videos are coming because we've got tawny emperors, we got hackberry butterflies, we got viceroys, we got question marks, we got red admirals. If I can keep all those things going, oh boy, <laughs> we're gonna see how all that works. But today's video guys is, is something where we, we also found some mods. And what I wanna show you guys is the importance of, of you know, We've got three jars that have moths in them, including this big black witch, which we're gonna show you in a minute. But what I wanna show you is the importance of taking care of your moth specimens early and you know resisting the urge to just jump back out and get back out to your next collecting spot. Uh, but in order to preserve your specimens and have them be as you know pristine and valuable as, as, as possible, when you're done with a session of collecting, you come back to your vehicle or a bench or somewhere where you can sit down and just focus for 10 minutes. And we're gonna show you what that looks like to put these things in paper and take care of them so that you don't mess up your specimens that you worked so hard for. And so guys, we're gonna do that right now. All right, so folks, here's what we're gonna do. The first thing, we've got three jars. Uh, we only got one real big thing and the rest are small moths and we got one butterfly in there. So we're gonna, uh, what we do is we get everything ready. We have here uh, some envelopes, tweezers, and I've got some cups. I've got a Tupperware over here, which we're going to use here in a minute. And I've got a little, the top of my Tupperware, which I'm going to use as a plate. And here's what we're going to do. We are going to dump our specimens. Well, the, the smell of ethyl acetate in the morning. I love the smell of ethyl acetate in the morning. All right, guys, I want to show you real quick this incredible moth. Look at that black witch. Um, see if I can get it in the sunlight for you guys. Look at that sucker, man. Big, big, beautiful female black witch, all right? So we are going to take make sure that this girl does not get messed up because it's really, it's really common to just get really excited and you know you just want to get get back in out in the field and mess up your bug and so we're going to avoid that we are going to i'm actually snapping a picture here real quick of my phone and we are going to make sure we take care of this beauty and so i'm going to before i do that with her i'm just going to dump the rest of these things out on my little tray here close these jars so I don't get ethyl acetate poison, <laughs> gas poisoning. Um, okay. All right. So I've got some bugs, including a decent male tawny emperor. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them in some envelopes. And so I'm going to switch over to my GoPro uh, so I can have two hands and work. Okay, so um, in this video, like we're just gonna take a really brief view of the bugs that we just caught in the Sugar Ridge up in Port Mayaka. And so one of the things that we gotta do, guys, is you know when we're taking specimens for research, and, you know we gotta take care of our bugs. And if you leave them bouncing around in a killing jar while you're driving around they're not going to last and so what i want to do is i want to make sure that we save our bugs we make sure that they're really t well taken care of so that we have nice nice specimens to present and do our research with and so and one of the first ones is this massive horse fly um look at the proboscis on this thing that proboscis is what he jams into its victims to suck their blood out of them. That's a massive horsefly, guys. So I'm I am not somebody who typically collects flies, but I'm going to I'm going to do a little bit of uh, 
a little work on these and see what species this is. All right? So, oh man, it's not straight. Oh my gosh. There we go. Okay. All right. This is one. This is one sick looking fly, guys. Uh, that's the stuff horror movies are made out of, right there. And I can tell you right now, it is a horror when they when they try to bite you. So um, I've got my little proton block, and we put the proton block in, and we just what we're going to do is I'm just going to for beetles and flies and wasps and things like that. You know, we're just going to put our um just pin them in a in a box so we'll pin them in a box we'll put a pop a label on them when we when we stop that way they don't get destroyed and we have a nice specimen i also have here a tiger beetle i'm gonna pin it real quick all right so when i collected this tiger beetle i put a little too much pressure on it and i squashed him so his abdomen actually came off. So that's not good. Not the best specimen of tiger beetle, but it's, it'll definitely be good enough for a, an identification anyway. Uh, <laughs> well, so much for that. Um, now, now that I have specimens in there, I don't want to leave the protom block. That's that's all the specimens I got from there. Now I'm gonna get my butterflies and moths that I have. I didn't, I didn't take too many guys I just took a few and you just got to make sure if you're going to take specimens that you take care of them it's that simple you don't want to waste things right so you know the first things first we finally got uh, a couple tawny emperor males and we took a few for our sampling just so that we can have some specimens that's our tawny emperor male guys um this is a martin county specimen yeah i took three of these tawnies uh just to have some voucher specimens guys uh there's a nice one there that one's actually in really good shape but um, it's nice to have a few voucher specimens. It's been 25 years since I've pinned one of those, so we'll definitely do a video on pinning some of the Tawny Emperors. And then I have a little container here that I'm putting them in. So as we paper them, we slap them in a, a little thing like that, and we'll be good to go. Um, I did take a Red Admiral gonna invert his wings i don't like putting them in the containers in the envelopes with their wings inverted so i gotta switch them back out so what i do is i give the thorax a little bit of a pinch that loosens things up then i grab the wing in by the uh right as close to the thorax as possible and then it's really easy kind of just to flip this around well i say easy but there we go Beautiful Red Admiral. There we go. Do the same thing with the Zollies. Couple little Noctuids and I'll be done. Let's see. Let's the different color forms of the Zollies. I believe these are all the same species, guys. Even though they have very different markings, I believe they're all the same species. I have to check out and see which one they are, but um, their things are these things are very highly variable. So um, I'm going to check that out. And I am putting multiple bugs in every envelope, just because envelopes are not 
cheap anymore, guys. I used to be able to get these really, really inexpensively. But they are not cheap anymore. So I load them up. Um, and I'm not ashamed of it. <laughs> Got a few little noctuids. There's a little, these little geometrids. They have green wings when I when they're in the trap, and as soon as they touch the ethyl acetate, the green disappears. So we don't get to see the green on the specimen, unfortunately. But should be good enough to identify the moth. There's a nice specimen. And there's this one last noctuid that I'm not sure what it is. Uh-oh. This guy is not cooperating. There we go. There we go, guys. Um, so I took, I think, a total of, say, four, eight, probably ten specimens, or twelve specimens with the, with the beetle. And, and now, you know, you put these in a sealed container and you put it in a cooler, and now your specimens are going to be good. And you put them in a cooler and then you, well, you can mount them at your will. And, you know, you're, you're not going to ruin your specimens. So. All right, guys, that sums that up. We, uh, we took care of our specimens, so we know that they're going to arrive home in tip-top A1 shape. So, uh, guys, hope you liked the video. Give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Got a lot of activity going on in the realm of South Florida, butterflies and moths. So stay tuned. We are, we've got a lot more to show you. So, guys, take care. Stay safe. And let's get out there and enjoy South Florida and find some cool bugs. Take care of your bugs. Bye now.